You know what that means. That's right. Gotta go get my steak knife, and it's time to get busy. All right, I got three boxes today from the UPS guy, and uh, these are gonna be one step closer to completing my project. So, I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here. And grab this trusty steak knife. See, I got all kinds of razor knives and box openers over there in the toolbox, but nothing beats the good old steak knife. All right, now I got three boxes, but I admit, I already opened one at home because I couldn't take it anymore. But I'm not gonna show you what it is until I open this one. So check this out. You like that? Handy steak knife. thousand watts right there and uh, well now you know what was in the first box another two thousand watts so one of these will run the tweeters one of these is going to run all the seven inch mids and those two over there are going to run all the base so let's go ahead and put these together hey you know what I got another box to open I almost forgot That's right. Let's see what this looks like. This is basically a crossover. It has so many amps that I need something to send the right signal to the right amp. And back up. Man, I love opening boxes and packages. It's my favorite thing to do. And of course, here's the back. Well, I was getting ready to end yesterday's segment with what I already showed you, but I got home and there was another box on the porch. So I'm going to show you what this is. I'm going to build it. I'm going to put those in it. And then I'll end this video and move on to something else. Alright, some assembly required, but it doesn't really look too bad, so I guess it's time to get started. Alright, it's all done. It's pretty lightweight, tall enough, but uh, to wheel it over here. It's about to get heavier any second now. All right, got all this shit put together. None of it's wired up yet. But I just wanted to see how it was all gonna fit on here and it all fits really nice. Got the Mackie 1604 VLZ, DBX rack drive. Got a California Audio Lab CD player, old school. Still works, so I'll probably use it for a little while. Two Crown XTI 4000s, those are 3200 watts a piece and two crown CE 2000s doing 2000 watts a piece. And I got room for more stuff down bottom for later. So that's what I'm talking about. Now it's time to get to some of this goddamn wiring. Most of the wiring's done. I just gotta hook up speaker wires to the proper speakers whenever I get them going. As you can see, the inputs and all the power is ran.
nice and clean. Now I just need a circuit big enough to handle all that power. I guess one more thing I can do is power it all up and see what it looks like. But last time I turned them all on at once, I popped the breaker over there just turning them on. So um, we'll see what happens here in a second. All right, now I think as long as I turn these on one at a time, it may not be as bad on the breaker just turning them on. I wouldn't want to go full power though. But when the caps start filling, it's kind of a surge. So let's do this one. Let that thing settle down. Turn that one on. All right. So far, so good.